we talked about what makes a great firefighter. Well, how about an officer? What, what, what do you put on that list where you say, you know, these are great qualities of an officer. For me, for example, like on top of the list is trust. That, yeah. That's, that's an important one. Um, and somebody who knows their job, obviously, yeah. because those are passionate, but do you have anything else you put on a list? Well, you know, I would say trust. I would say, you know, be fair, uh, you know, right down the middle of the pipe, if I can use that as an, you know, an association. But at the same time, you know, there's going to be times where, you know, you got to be firm and you're not going to be everybody's buddy. You know? Yep. Um, you know, of course, we will always love the most passionate, most motivated person to come out of the academy and that makes your job easier. But, you know, you're going to get the challenged person. You're going to get the person that questions things. Either if it's somebody underneath you, a subordinate, or sometimes I've had people above me, you know, that maybe I didn't agree with policy or procedure. Uh, I had some challenges over the years, especially when I got up there in rank uh, in seniority, you know, dealing with some of the, I, I say this tongue in cheek, you know, shirts and ties, um, you know, precisions on, I couldn't, as a tour commander, I had the authority to, you know, hire overtime if I had an opening and I would get challenged on, you know, you close the company. I said, I need one guy. I said, just give me one guy. And, you know, they go fight those battles every day when I'm saying, you know what one company could do as compared to closing and putting a hole there. So it's, you know, fairness, firmness, uh, and at the same time, yeah, trust. There's no doubt about it. And, you know, I don't, not that you go out of your way to, to seek these things. Either you have them or you don't. And, you know, and, and when somebody comes up and compliments you or thanks you or shakes your hand, sometimes you'd be like, like, well, why? What, what, what did I do? It's, and they're, they're, they mention these things to you. And you say, well, no, that's just what, you know, I was born into. That's the people that I followed over the years. And I'm just, you know, following their example. You know, and I would say this quite a bit uh, when I had somebody that would challenge me. I would say, listen, I'm here for one reason, all right, just to get you back home to the family. You know, be part of the team. Uh, I need you to fix A, B, and C for me. And at the end of the day, if you can't fix these things, uh, we're going to have to talk about maybe finding you something else to do. You know, sometimes I would have to go that route. But more times than not, when I brought up family and what this is all about, you know, the fire department family, and then your own family, and what we're trying to do in the mission statement, we can go that way for a second. I said, think about all these little things. Think about the big picture here. And just play ball, step up. Here's your, I'm taking your line, step up, all right? And, you know, take on your area responsibility. Because if you don't, uh, eventually you and I are going to have a problem at some point. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this is a type of, I don't say business. I never say that this is a business. It's a profession, all right? It's different, in my opinion. A business is Amazon. A business, a business is Google, all right? This is different. This is a profession. This is a calling. This is a passion. Either you're with us or, or we'll help you get there. We have a lot of places that we can help you get towards passion, motivation, mentoring. You know, we, I'll get you part of the team. Finding your skill set and bringing that to the forefront, we'll find that if you let us find that. But if you're looking to collect a paycheck, you're here for benefits, I'm personally, I'm going to weed you out. You know, we're not going to get along at the end of the day. Your patience is wears thin to a certain you know, extent. But um, more times than not, I never had to go that route. A few times, of course, but the vast majority, it was kind of, it was just like, keep coming, keep joining the team, come on over here, love to have you. What do you think? We do well, what can we improve upon? Regardless of rank, I didn't make, didn't make a difference. The kitchen table to me was rankless. What do you think? What do you, I, mean, I would have kids around 18 months. What do you think, Stevie? Well, Chief, you know, and I'm, and I and I go, I, Steve's talking right now, and, and we would pick something up all the time, regardless of rank and regardless of time on the job. Of course, your senior people would always offer more, their experience level, their academics, but we took off the shirts, so to speak, no bars on the collar, everybody round table on that difficult second alarm earlier today. And we all picked up something almost from everybody almost every day. I love that. I love that the, the kitchen table is rankless. I actually love that. I never heard it say that way, but uh, for me, that one of the terms that I often use is the best ideas have to win. And for those of us 
with maybe some gold on our collars and some gray hairs. We have to humble ourselves to know that the best ideas aren't always going to be ours. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I, I agree with you also with what you said, you know, you have to bring passion to the table and you can give some of the tools, the training, the resources, the time to support everything they need to succeed, but they got to bring the heart. Yep. They have to come there and say, I want to be here. And that's, it's an easy thing. Come to work, knowing you have a good job and willing to give your best effort and, and with your best attitude. And, and that's the greatest job on earth.